to Bootleg Garage. On today's adventures of uh, Bootleg Garage, what we're going to be doing is installing this tire carrier. I yanked off the old one because it rattled a lot. And I'll be selling it. I'll be putting that online. And my brother's going to help us out here today. What we're going to do, we've already taken off the door the hinges and everything because on this one you have to actually take everything off and then put this on top we've already separated all the bolts and everything for it and pull them <laughs> how to pivot i wanted to pivot it over to the pick it up you jeep turn it okay so we got that far and we took the old one off, cleaned and waxed the tailgate because you don't get that often a chance to do it behind. Okay, so right now I'm just going to take the nuts and bolts and everything out of here so I can lift this up and slam it down on the tailgate. That way it stays because it's a little windy. We want as much damage, I mean, no damage as possible. Yeah, it's his Jeep, not mine. <laughs> you don't have it. No, no, I sold it. No. And if you need these, got to put these bracket braces right here. Under here, like Chanel. Which two? Hmm? Yeah, bone there? There you go. Beauty fell. That way, what these brackets do is levels it out oh, because this... it's indented right here. Sorry, the tripod's a little sticky. I was wanting to do a nice smooth pan down, but this should be good. Yeah, you just loosen it up and. I did. Okay. okay. Yobber, yobber. And That's why that always. There we go. See, that's not a light piece. <laughs> no, it's got a little bit of weight to it. Uh oh. And we have here. Make sure everything's lined up. All your holes. And we are lined up. Yep, lined up. Beautiful. And then we just start slapping bolts in. Everywhere. How many bolts? Oh, like 50 of them. Eight for the outside ones, and then the inside ones are going to be another eight. There we go. Hold on, kids today. You know what I mean? Here, here. Tilt. No. Tilt. No. Yeah, that's right. Why do you do that? What are you doing? You tilt it, then a nail drop. You like that? Want to try it? Yeah. And these are a 13 millimeter socket. They look like they're grade eights. Uh, what we're going to have to do is shift it yeah. up a little bit. Need a few more. So we got one, two, eight goes here. Yeah. Uh, if 
fun. You gotta line up stuff. Yeah, this one here you do actually have to have two people for. Zip gets heavy quick. when it comes to body stuff. Yeah. Yeah, we're good. Huh? What size were these? 13s? 13. I just need to make sure it is level. Otherwise, the door isn't going to catch properly, you know, latch, good, so, I'm using his lines here, is the 13 in there, um, oh, the 13 that's missing, do we have a deep 13, that'd be best, wait, wait, wait. The one that we actually prepared and uh, was on the table. Okay. Oh, we're having one of those days. The little vent that goes right in here, we looked everywhere. We couldn't find it. We were like, really? We don't throw anything away because where they were on the shelf, we probably said, Okay, go <laughs> What we're gonna have to do is take a tape measure, make sure using this body line and this body line, make sure it's square because you don't want it to be off. If it's off, the door's not gonna latch. Yeah. I'll go get a tape machine. put the hinges on and these fairly easy straightforward and it is a size is this? Let me well it looks like a six we'll go with six yeah we'll go with six Put them in the holes and you're good to go. Sorry, I'm getting used to his tripod. A little bounce there. Uh, rookie. Doink. Rookie mistake. That's why I repair and he films. This, this is what Chuck likes to do. He likes the... Uh, Easy work. Putting on all the extras. Gravity. Ah, more gravity. And 
those kind of center themselves, don't they? They're wedged. Yeah. Okay. You just gotta do them a little bit at a time. Sorry about the wind noise. If there's any wind noise you guys hear. But it's been a little breezy here lately. Yeah, wasn't breezy until we said, hey, let's do a video for Bootleg Garage. The wind kicked up right when we said it. So, yeah. And these can only go on one way. If you notice, one hole here, two here, one hole here, two here. So you can't get it backwards. Unless you've been drinking a lot. Something we don't do here. <laughs> Man, that is so not smooth. What? Oh, the, uh, yeah, oh there we go. I got it now. Sorry, folks. I'll get the hang of this tripod. One day. Just not today. Maybe in the future. later a little bit it takes a little time to do everything well, hopefully that squares up in there looks kind of cockeyed cockeyed mm, cock how about that ah there we go better uh-huh straighter I got a feeling this one of those will start to put it on, then have to take it off, do some adjustments. Yeah, we'll have to do a lot of adjustment on these. Alright, so now what we're going to do Alright, so now what we're going to do is uh, put the gate on, see if it fits. So I need that over here. Yep, we're going to reposition here. Go over here. Like right in the middle. Mm, Don't forget your hinge pins. Okay, you want this? How about that, folks? That a little better? Hinge pin. So we got the door on, now we just got to uh, do some adjustments on it. Don't forget, wash on top, wash on the bottom. They're different size washers, so make sure you got the right size washers. Yeah. And make sure you read the instructions on all the parts. Let's see what Chuck's doing. There we go. Sorry about that, folks. We kind of need a cameraman hooked on. You can do that. The next thing, oh no, you need to hook that up so you don't scuff the hell out of it. Get in there. Sorry about the roughness. Alright. 
Next thing is the two bolts for this right here go into right here and it is a 30T or T30. Torquing. Torque oh, converter. Oh, now I can't see you. Yeah, I'll do it from backwards. There we go. Maybe. Why is this jamboni? Yeah. Almost, maybe. these bolts long. <laughs> well here I'll speed up the uh, process here. Connection with the <laughs> pretty much electric ratchet. Oh thank you. Oh you didn't bring an adapter did you? No no adapter needed. Yeah so <sighs> Adapter, because the Torque 30 is small. SML. Uh, get on the other side, please. Thank you. The audience would like to see this. Maybe. <laughs> and now his arm's in the way. <laughs> Brother was going to do this part. Oh, what surprise! What we've got is two paint stirring sticks. Seem to be about the right height for this door, and two old shirts. Now, if you look in here, I don't know if you can see it, but we're sitting about square. That's where we want to be. So we give it a jiggle. And then we'll tighten it down and then retest. Sure. You might have to do this several different times, you might have to use something else. But I like using the cloth so it doesn't ruin the paint. You see, that there was a uh, Tom Sawyer move. Yep. You get somebody else to do the hard work for you. <laughs> so, pull these out. Carefully. You didn't. Make sure there are no it. scratches. Let's see. Look at that. Oh. Well, there's nothing we can do about that angle down here is that just the no. shape of the door you can see it's the same way over here don't be upset about if it's off uh they didn't give us extra shims or anything you know to because those are the only shims that comes yeah, with that them. was it 
so a thinner shim here but then again you're once this is there's no shim so it'll be a little off like that so now we can just love it just seems to have a lot of drag on it. Look at that. That lines up real easy now. Once you get the door where it's supposed to be. There it is. Click to where it says. Oh, they got a lot of threads on there. So, as you can see, definitely get a friend to come over to help you put this on. Make sure you have a lot of beer on hand. Or soda. Or food or something. Because <laughs> <laughs> you're going to need the help of another person. Because the door is kind of heavy. A little hard to hold it and put the pins in at the same time. Reset. Open it up all the way? No. There it goes. Oh, to the stop. I see. So. Okay. He might want to lube that. <laughs> I'm just saying. Cause it looks pretty dry. Got some lubrication for it. There you go. Now Chuck can tighten up the pins. Fine. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Hopefully you guys see that. Maybe. Go faster. Yeah. There we go. Seventeen on bottom and eighteen. Yeah, well, the one that you put away. Yeah, go get. We it. made sure it was put back in the toolbox, so we wouldn't lose it. Make sure that you put plenty of lube on those pins before you put them in. Yeah. <laughs> Just saying. Uh, yeah. yeah, we're doing good here. Good enough. And able to move. Mm -hmm. yeah. Up and down. Pins probably won't come out now because they're sitting in place. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Open it. 
wake up. Now, did you look on the destructions if it said to lube these? Didn't say anything about lubage. We're in the desert, dirt gets everywhere. Here we go. Got a hammer. Alright, what's that? Gravity. Oh, towards you, towards me. Stop. Want to spray something down in there? Just like that. Yeah. It still bugs me not having lube on a door hinge and a pen. So let's see what we can come up with. I think that turned it on. Alrighty. Um Yeah. Just tightening these bolts up here. And the wind picked up. A wind. As soon as we turned on the camera. Pretty much. And that's... Little fuzzies flying off the camera. Oh. Okay. Okay, what are we doing next? Uh, open the door and shut it. Make sure it opens all the way. Stop. I think it's stop. Yeah, that's where the, yep, it's, as that's far where it doesn't come slamming back on you when you have it open. Really? Alright. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> yeah, excuse me. Excuse me? And yeah, we'll tighten everything up. Re torque everything down. Should we do this? Yeah. You sure? Yeah. Well, you have uh, torque settings if you want to use the torque a wrench. Yeah, I don't know. What, what was it? He's 50 something pounds. <laughs> 500 foot pounds. And he's way over there. Break out the gear wrench. So, right now, I'm going to move you to where the wind's not blowing. There we go. There we go. 100 foot pounds should do it? No. What was it? 68 or something like that? You like how we keep uh, coming up with different numbers? Oh, this, okay, this thing's like going stupid. Okay. This is yours. See? It would be. Okay, I see what you're talking about. 54 to 55. Well, Steve set his device up because yeah, it's, it's kind of a, you know, goofy. Mm -hmm. What did you do? Don't mess us know. Down, 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 down. Yeah, be careful. The thing will just start taking off on its own. 50 what? Four. Uh, 
Okay, normally it's 54, but we're in the high desert, so uh, we'll go 55. <laughs> set. And set. Save. And wind again. That's why I was setting them in there. Reset it. That is weird. Let me do get some of that antices on there. Maybe. Set. Okay. That's set. Hmm. Okay, we're fishing the wires back through. You want to guide them because they'll want to fall down and be in a difficult place. Push these little guys back on. These ones broke, so we'll have to replace those. But they're hidden under this guy right here. This guy's doink doink. There's a little, yep. Spot for it. And they pop right back out. Mm -hmm. Voila! Wired. Okay, and then this one went like that. This one goes over to here somewhere. Where did you get this from, Chuck? Yeah, that's the little sensor up top. I see it. It's right here. That's the door sensor for inside the Jeep. Uh, if you notice on your your uh, dash, it will have what doors are open. That's what this sensor does. And click. And now here you have it right there in your hand. Right here. This one's for your. Brake light, through brake light. Click. And then, you don't throw this away, unlike the, uh, oops, other part we've been looking lost. for. We know we didn't throw it away. We don't throw away stuff, so we not quite sure where it was. So now, that's not out of the way. That, that. 
now. Chuck's gonna have fun with his wrench and a tape. Yeah, this next part's gonna be a pain. Let me show you what we did. Uh, right here, this is the stock one, and it had that big third brick like thing. Well, the thing is, the tire would not see. You wouldn't be able to see past the tire. So we sanded it down, primered it, then I uh, used that trunk speckle, let that dry, and then I painted black over. So you can see it's matchy matchy. Kinda. There you go, a little sun. Kinda, you don't really see it anyways. So, somewhere in there, right? Pretty much. Let me grab some of the... Two hours later. I'll grab the easy ones first. Yeah, do the top ones so I don't have to hold this all day. But you're going to. And you're going to like it. Washer on that side here, and I'll put a washer on that side and start the lock nuts. Interesting. Gravity. Try not to uh, cross thread. Mm -hmm. That's cross thread too much. Um, All right. There we go. <clears throat> and now. Ta -da, that's it. Just those two bolts. No. Oh. How we're going to do the other side. Get your tape, piece of tape, slap it on here. Mm, Put your further in there. It is all the way there. Yay, Chuck. You came up with this good idea. It's gonna be a pain in the butt. This way, the nut won't go anywhere. And ta-da! And we'll get right back to you after... Uh, These going. message from our sponsor... Oh, no, we don't have sponsors. Buggers. Yeah. No. So, we're going to put all the little goodies in there, and then we'll get back to you and... Go to the next step. That'll be fun. All right. We're back. So we got this attached. It is we mounted. Mounted. Torqued it down to 150 foot pounds. Where it requires. Did. Just kidding. So now we're going to put on the spare tire and the light. The light before the spare tire. Oh, there we go. Whoosh. He's over there in the dark. Clean it up. Hasn't been cleaned since I've had it. Whoops. It's about six years now. There, it's on. Zip the mat here. Now, he's going to get a hernia. <clears throat> Here's how we die. Mm-hmm. Now I gotta All get right. over here and now that this you get a good picture of my back now. 
that. So hold on. Let's do this. There we go. One more set. There we go. Push. Get your goodies. Yeah. We're old. Not too many years doing crazy stuff, so our backs are kind of screwed up, so that's why, too. A young person would just slap it on there like it's nothing. And we're just waiting for the fasteners. What? What? The fasteners. have to buy bigger tires now. Windstorm. And we know it works. Yeah, it looks good. Close is nice and easy. And that's all it's to it. Until next time, we'll get, have a good day. And let us know down in the comments what you think of this tire carrier setup. But not at our clumsy <laughs> trying to get this thing on here. All right. Hey, stuff happens. Yeah. Have a good one, guys. Talk to you later. Bye.